A preacher at East Baton Rouge Parish was locked up, accused of breaking the law and the word he's supposed to preach. Joshua Lamb allegedly stole $100,000 from his employer. The investigative unit and Chris Nakamoto went looking for him at his church and explains how this scheme unfolded. Sylvia Michael, sheriff's deputies say the crime involved reimbursements that Joshua Lamb made to himself, a lot of them. His employer says those payments were illegal and he was arrested for his alleged crimes. Let me tell you something. It ain't about where you start. It's all about where you in. For Pastor Joshua Lamb, it ended very badly last month. He got a story. When he was thrown in jail, accused of stealing more than $100,000 from his day job, helping manage the comfort suites off Blue Bonnet Boulevard. It's important that you read for yourself. Because, first of all, your wicked ways on the come of your believer. Lamb, a preacher of God's word, is accused of violating the Eighth Commandment. Thou shalt not steal. He's charged with illegal transmission of monetary funds and theft. I can get my Christmas gift a little early. A quick search shows he has a history of arrests for stealing and forgery. Multiple arrests for theft date back to 2014. So who the hypocrite? So that me, I have to sit there. I, I, I told my leaders, I said, I'm not going to come to my own church and bite my own tongue in my own church. I don't have to, I told, I told assistants, I don't want you to sit on side of me, knowing that you ain't really fuck me. In many of the videos posted online, Lamb summons people from Baton Rouge to appear here at his church, located in a strip mall in Baker. One door leading in, no one there Tuesday. And Lamb did not answer calls to his cell phone. He won't want to tell you he used to try to do right. Some, some, some people be real, we don't even try. It was the vice president of operations at the Comfort Suites that brought Lamb's alleged wicked ways to light. Investigators say Lamb, the general manager of the hotel, issued himself fraudulent reimbursements. The hotel says the reimbursements are always made with a paper check and not through the payroll system. But allegedly, Lamb used the payroll system to send payments directly into his bank account from July 2022 until last month, totaling $100,081.92. I'm getting older and more mature. And because I've been, some, some of us have been like this, I've been in church all my life, all I know is church. So I know what the, how I'm supposed to go for church. But when it comes to real life, it's amazing to have a church full of people and still go home by yourself. Tonight, Lamb got sent to jail by himself, and his services are no longer needed at the Comfort Suites. Lamb told investigators all of the reimbursements were legitimate. We also reached out to the Comfort Suites for a comment on the story. Due to the ongoing investigation, their corporate headquarters said they could not comment. Michael.